this is justified. Uh, my priority as a consultant for the last 21 years has always been to protect patients' best interests and safety. I can't comment further due to my duty of patient confidentiality. You're watching BBC News. Uh, coming up in the next few minutes... The World Health Organization is holding a news conference in Geneva on the Ibo... But before all that, let's cross the newsroom on a lovely, mild autumn day. Is it going to last, Peter? <laughs> well, sort of, Tim. Yeah, certainly the mild theme is going to continue right through into the weekend, but it is going to be quite unsettled to go with it. There has actually been talk of a big storm heading our way, so let's have a look at what's going on out in the Atlantic. And actually, we have got a hurricane, but 3,000 miles away from us, heading towards Bermuda. It's a big storm, this one, and it's going to cause a lot of problems during Friday across the island of Bermuda. But... If we head back towards the UK, 3,000 miles and several days away from any potential influence from uh, our hurricane, we have got a massive area of low pressure on our doorstep. That's feeding in fairly mild winds from the southwest, except across uh, northeast England and eastern Scotland. Here, quite a cool breeze still coming in off the North Sea, bringing areas of cloud and rain. So, uh, not feeling particularly pleasant here at the moment, and that's not going to get any better as we head through towards rush hour this evening. Also, we're going to start seeing some of these turning up. Big heavy, potentially thundery showers. Parts of Northern Ireland, southwest Scotland, northwest England, certainly in the firing line to start with, but further showers will follow on behind that into uh, Wales and also eventually into parts of southwest England. As we head further east, we start to uh, head away from the risk of big heavy showers. And these temperatures, we've seen uh, temperatures hitting 17, 18 degrees in places this afternoon. It'll stay very mild well into this evening as well. But watch the showers just blossom for a time. Big, uh, heavy ones. You can see the brighter colours in the centre of them. There'll be some thunder in the mix as well. Torrential downpours in places in a very short space of time. So not great out and about on the roads. But increasing that mild air pushing in from the southwest, including into Scotland, where it has been uh, quite chilly across northern Scotland over the last uh, night or two. Friday, actually a reasonably quiet day for most of us. That rain fizzled out across northern Scotland. More rain eventually into southwestern areas, but in between a fine day for most of us, some sunny spells coming through, and those temperatures not too bad at all. High teens quite widely, including now by Friday across central and southern Scotland, just the northeast corner of Scotland, but still a little on the cool side. Weekend, massive low out to the west of us, lots of isobars and a weather front. And it's just placing exactly where that front's going to be that's crucial to the forecast for Saturday. Difficult to pin it down this far out. We'll firm up on that over the next day or so. But uh, either side of that, some really quite warm weather, particularly ahead of that front. Could see 21, 22 degrees if the sun comes out across some parts of southeast England elsewhere, certainly again up into the high teens. Sunday, it's a bright and breezy day. There will be some showers around, heavy ones across northern England, perhaps uh, Scotland as well, but still those temperatures above the normal for this time of the year. That's a theme that will continue into the early part of next week. The spaces we live in help shape us, which is why the Stirling Prize rewards the architects of the building that has made the greatest contribution to the evolution of architecture over the past year. Join me, David Solito, to find out who is this year's winner live on the BBC News Channel at quarter past eight tonight.